guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how I budget my low income so if you're like me and you have a low income girl we can still make it work and go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video Y'all, I'm so excited for today's video because I obviously have a little bit more coin this week than I did last week. So, let's just go ahead and get into this. I got this from Belle's Budgets. I believe her Etsy shop is called Belle's Studio Designs. I have a link down below. This is a 100 envelope challenge to save 10k. Now that Christmas is over with, I need to get back on my wedding. I have basically depleted that cash envelope because just life happens. And I'm going to do the best that I can. So, I'm so excited. Like, y'all don't understand how sad I was that I haven't been able to stuff my wedding. And now I have a little fun way to do it. So, yeah, she's so cute. And we have a little friend over here. We got a little frosty. <laughs> so let's get into it. You guys know that I get paid every week. Um, disclaimer, I am not a zero-based budgeter. I take an amount from my paycheck that I feel comfortable with and leave the rest in my account as a buffer. Two, if you're new here, I do not have a mortgage or a car note because my fiance paid my car off two years ago for my birthday and he takes care of the mortgage. I believe those are like common bills that people have that I don't have. So I believe that's all of my church announcements. So obviously the first thing I'm going to do is look and see what bills are due this week. So this paycheck my water bills coming out a lot of bills are coming out my water bill my power bill i don't have to worry about because if you saw in my last budget with me we got our credit back well we got our deposit back so i have like 400 dollars sitting there rooms to go is getting taken out as well as my discover card so boom bam boom we have a lot of bills taking out this check so just to let me know what bills are coming out the water bills coming out, I believe. What did I just say? Water bill, rooms to go, which is my credit card, and Discover. So, first things first, you know, we have to head our paper like we're in school. So, I believe it's going to be the 9th, and we are working with $375. So obviously, you know, the first thing you have to do is pay your bills. I didn't go over it in my last budget with me. I realized it when I was editing. So how I get my numbers is I basically take, like for instance, Myla's insurance is $33 a month. So I just divide it by how many weeks are within the month or when it needs to get paid again. Y'all know what I'm saying. So yes, it's put $375. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, it says 375 and we are going to take out $8. Oops, I didn't know that's what it did. My water bill is going to get $5. Wi-Fi is going to get $20. I pay $80 a month for my Wi-Fi. My phone bill is getting 11 um, again, if you missed my last budget with me, you guys know that my dad, I, I paid my dad my phone bill and my car insurance, but he said he's going to pay those two bills for my Christmas gift. So, you know, when anybody wants to pay a bill, I am super duper happy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it while we have a magic month. So, next month it'll already be taken care of and I can use that extra money to go towards my wedding. My car insurance is getting $29. My phone bill is $55 a month and my car insurance is $142. My electric bill, thank the Lord, hallelujah, when he do it, it's getting a good old zero. None for vacation or challenges. But apps is getting $3. I hope I subtracted that correctly. I feel like I hit the plus button. So yeah, it's subtracted correctly. So now for our debt, my credit card is getting $40. I pay $160 a month for my rooms to go. 
and my discover card is getting 36 which is amazing um my best buy card if you guys were wondering my last video why i'm not paying it until the first it's because my mom i let her buy whatever she bought on it so her payments are done at the end of the month and or at the end of the year and then i'm going to take up my portion in the beginning of the year so right now best buy isn't getting anything so four five six seven so i'm paying 76 dollars towards debt so my sinking funds um again sinking oh wait girl i forgot about my cash envelopes <laughs> So yes, after you get done with the bills, you need to do your cash envelopes. Cash envelopes are basically what you use on a daily basis. So mine are groceries, gas, spending, toiletries, and household. Some people add fast food, but again, budgeting is personal, so you make it work for you. So groceries is getting $50, and gas is getting $30 none for spending or toiletries or household but today i brought soap baby oil and something else so yeah i just took those items from my buffer so 80 dollars is going in my cash envelopes again those are your daily spending okay so sinking funds like i said in my last video sinking funds are basically categories that you just want to save up for in case something happens okay so before we move any further i know some people they do their 100 envelope challenge by just picking a random number but i'm not going to do that because i literally need to budget what i'm going to take out oh yeah you can get her to personalize the top of your thing and i thought that was cute save your coin sis okay so i want to take advantage of the fact that i am not paying my electric bill this month so i kind of want to go for like the higher numbers while i have the extra money so i have 143 left let's just take out a 100 dollar one so that's envelope 50 and I'm just going to take it out and just put it towards the front so I'm not searching for it when I do the cash stuffing. So we are taking out envelope 50, which means we are stuffing a total of $100, which is perfect. Like, I'm so grateful I'm taking advantage of not paying for my electric bill. So $100 is going towards my wedding. So we are done with this. Like, I'm so excited I have this. Like, it's literally the simple things. Who knew I would, like, end up loving little things like this? Like, I want new sinky fun envelopes, but I have to wait. So we have $43 left. So my, you guys know my hair has to get stuffed. So I would say when you're doing your sinking funds, start with your high priority. Obviously, all these just don't need to be stuff. Medical is getting $10 because I have a dermatologist appointment, which I might cancel because I just feel like she's wasting my time, honestly. So now I have $20 to play with. So I'm going to give my dog, my little baby Myla, some money, home decor some money let's see my car is definitely important so we're going to give emergency the last five so now we're going to add up these totals so five plus 100 plus 10 plus 13 plus 15 equals 143 and then our bills are eight plus five plus 20. So $76. So out of my $375 budget, 76 is going to bills, $80 is going towards cash envelopes. 
76 is going towards debt and I have 143 going towards my sinking funds. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the things. And I will see you on Friday with my 100 envelope challenge. <laughs> Bye.